Well, are you ready for the sights, sounds, and fun of Montana Fair? Well, there's too much to fit into a weekend at the fair, which is why it takes over an entire week. MTN's Jenny Fick was at Metro Park today and fills us in on what's to come. Thank you, and that's right, right behind me, you can see the Ferris wheel. So that means it is one of the most fun times of year. And there is a new theme here at Montana Fair this year. It is the last best place. I want you to talk to me a little bit about that and what people have to expect at this year's fair. Well, one of the things we wanted to do is capture what happens at the end of the summer. And, and so the last best place is Montana's state slogan. Montana Fair is the last thing you do before summer's over. So it's the last best place of summer. And it really captures the things that people feel, what the fair makes you feel like when you come. Those are the things that we're looking for when we do our marketing this year. Something that's exciting every year is there's the traditions, things to look back on, but you also work on getting quite a few new acts and just attractions in. Can you give us a little highlight of what some of the new might be this year? Well, one of the new things we're really excited about was the number of new entertainers on the ground. We have four brand new grounds entertainers this year. That's all included with your pricing as you come in. Of course, we have a new name for the arena, First Interstate Arena, and now has all their signage up. Everything is all set to go for the three new acts that we'll have inside the arena this year with Old Dominion, Blackhawk, Shenandoah, Restless Heart, and 98 Degrees all across the three nights that go on there. So those are some of the new things, and then we balance that with new foods like Roland Ritos, which which has sushi burritos, uh, one of those things, wood-fired pizza from Cowboys, just some new foods that we have as well, as well and the new uh, rides that occur with the Mighty Thomas Carnival. All kinds of new things that happen at the Montana Fair, as well as your favorites. And then there are quite a few people vying for the blue ribbon this year. Yeah, we got to find a place to put them all. That's mm -hmm. the biggest problem is that we had 500 submissions more than we have ever had before at Montana Fair. So on those competitive events, we're up about 14%. We don't have the space really to put all those events. The art barn is out of art boards in order to hang the material. So that's really a good problem to have, but it's people being very excited about what goes on at Montana Fair. Awesome. And then if people want to come in and check it out, I know especially with families, it can get a little expensive. What is one way that they can make it a little less expensive? The best thing to do right now with three days remaining before the fair, the fair starts Friday, August the 9th, is to buy the value pass. It's a $250 value. You get it for $69, but only till midnight Friday night. So, you know, buy it before midnight tonight is really true. You got to get that done to get the value pass to save yourself a lot of money. And then will you just hit on the dates of Montana Fair in case anybody does not know? Always starts full, first full day is the second Saturday of August this year, August 9 through August 17. We start with sneak a peek on that Friday, August 9 through 17 is Montana Fair 2019, the last best place of summer. Well, thank you very much for taking some time to talk to us today. And I know I've got some cotton candy with my name on it. Yeah. At Montana Fair, I'm Jenny Fick, MTN News. All right, thanks so much, Jenny. And a heads up to our veterans, active military, and first responders. Both you and a guest will receive free entry into the fair on August 16th. That's next Friday. And that's not all. You'll also be treated to dinner under the grandstands and entry into the rodeo. That's brought to you by the Breakfast Exchange Club of Billings.